as on the board. We're continuing on with 5H, so solving equations using backtracking. So now it's the same thing. We have to first build this, but it's not an expression. Is this an expression? No. What does it have? An equal sign, which makes it an equation. equation. So now we can also find what that thing is equal to. Okay? So we need to find this um, using back tracking. Okay, so first we need to build the expression. So what did we have? A. What did we do to A? Times. Can we pause for a minute? I need to check something. All right, eyes on the board, turning this way, I thought that was obvious, apparently not. So we're moving on to solving equations using backtracking. So it's similar kind of stuff that we did in 5G, where we built up expressions using flowcharts. However, these are not expressions, they have something extra in them, which is, a, which is an equal sign. So an equal sign makes it an equation. So we can solve an equation. What does solving mean again? We've done this by inspection before. What does solving mean? To answer the problem. To answer the problem. What does that mean? Finding the value of the pronumeral. Finding the value of the pronumeral for which the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Okay? So we've done solving equations using inspection. That was just logic and common sense. Today we're doing solving equations using backtracking. Next lesson, we'll be doing solving equations using a balance method. They're all different methods, but let's just understand this one. Now, we first need to build this expression. I'm going to make double flowcharts now, and it'll be clear in a minute why I did that. So, building the expression, we start with A. What's the first thing we do? Times 4. Times by 4? After that, what do we do? Plus five. plus 5, right? So we get 4a and then we get 4a plus 5. Yes? Yep. Now, what is this 4a plus 5 equal to? 29. 29. So we know that this is equal to 29. Now we need to find a. So don't we have to go the other way around and find a? Yes. So remember backtracking? How do we do an inverse of an operation? When we go the opposite direction, we do the inverse. So what's the inverse of adding 5? Minusing 5. What's the inverse of times in by 4? So if we do that to the bottom column, we'll get what a is equal to. Does that make sense? So 4a plus 5 is equal to 29. So take away 5 from it. 24? Divide 4? Divide by 4. So 24 divided by 4 is? 6. So what's the answer? A equals 6. So you must write... A equals 6. That is your answer. That is the solution for this equation. Let's write that. So A equals 6. Highlight it in some way. Put it in a box so the teacher knows. Pens down, please. Happy with that? Yep. Let's quickly check. If A is 6, what's 4 times 6? 24 plus 5. 24. That's our right-hand side. So is, are the two sides equal for equal 6? Yep. So that is the correct solution. Make sense? Next one. Again, and that is why building expressions is important. If you can build the correct expression, backtracking is easy. What have we done to D first? Have we times it by 3 or have we added 2 first? Added 2. Added 2? Sorry. So do we get D plus 2? Yes. And then we times the whole thing by? 3. That makes sense. Is this the same expression? Yeah. What is the left hand side equal to? 21. Backtracking. Inverse of times in by 3? Inverse of adding 2? So 21 divided by 3 is? 7 take away 2? So what's our solution? So you need to be familiar with this terminology. What does the solution mean? So the solution for this equation is D equals 5. So if D is equal to 5, so what's 5 plus 2? 7. 7 times 3? 21, which is our right-hand side. Hello. Can we pause it? Okay. Next one. Building the expression again. So what's the pronumeral that we started with? H. H. What's the first thing we're doing to it? 
Dividing by 5. Exactly. We're not adding 6 yet because 6 has nothing to do with 5. So 5 must, uh, H must be divided by 5 and then 6 will be added. So we have H divided by 5 and then? Plus 6. Plus 6. Does it look like the expression in the question? Yep. Yeah. Yes. What is that equal to, the right hand side? 9. 9. How do we find what H is? Backtracking. Inverse of adding 6? Subtracting. Inverse of dividing by 5? What's 9 taking away 6? 3. And what's 3 times 5? 50. Perfect. Any questions? Alright, next one. Maybe we'll just do this one. That's easy. You try it yourself. So, what's our starting row numeral? X. There's a number of things that have been done to X. Okay. What is the first thing that was done? Well done. Make sense? We came X over 3? Then? Well done. So proud of you guys. Yes? Yep. And the last thing? Not the last thing. Next thing? Uh, uh, have we times it by 4 or have we taken away 5? Uh, times by 4. Well done because 5 is not connected to the 4. So that means we must have times it by 4. So that is 4. And then whatever is left we took away? Yep. Five. What did we take away? 5. five. five. That was a complicated um, left hand side. Yes? Yep. Now, what is this expression equal to the left hand side part? It's, it's equal to 19. Backtracking, opposite of minus in 5? Opposite of times in by 4? Opposite of plus 1? Opposite of dividing by 3? That's it. 19 plus 5? 24 divided by 4? 6. 6 take away 1? 5 times 3? What's the solution? And what's the solution here? 18. Yeah, I forgot to write it. Make sense? Now, I'm just going to write the equation for that one, but you'll have to solve it for yourselves. Okay? Now, so the difference between these questions and the last one is, these questions, I gave you the equation, you had to solve it. Now you have to write the equation first and then solve it. Simple. A number has 7 subtracted from it. So let the number be? T. N. Q. Z. N. J. Z. F. F. Yeah, the T one. A. You win. So let the number be? Z. So, the number 7 is subtracted from Z. So is that Z take away 7 or 7 take away Z? Think. Z take away 7 I agree. Because we've taken 7 away from Z. So Z minus 7. Yes? Yeah. Now, result is divided by 2. So whatever is left, we divided by 2. Does that make sense? Yep. Because we did minus 7 first and then divide the whole thing by 2. To give an answer of 3, that means whatever is left, it equals 3. three. Can you solve it using backtracking? Yes. You should be able to. Do it yourselves. Any questions? Got yes, uh, that's too easy. You can do it. Make sense? Get on with your work.